The series begins by showing Agent Bikar and Alicia working together to foil the plans of a group of thugs who were attempting to steal the contents of a truck belonging to the star industry. While Bikar and Alicia confronted the thieves head-on, Ali and Chamat snuck up from behind and helped defeat the rest of the gang. In the end, the four emerged victorious with Ali who felt he had defeated more enemies than Alicia. After their successful mission, the group changed out of their costumes and went their separate ways. For Ollie, this meant riding his scooter back to school, where he was known for his punctuality and dedication to his studies. Despite his best efforts, Ollie struggled in science and had received a warning from his teacher, Mrs. Puen Muna, that he needed to improve his grades or risk repeating the year. As Mr. Bidden began the lesson, he took attendance and noticed that several students were missing. One of these students was Ollie, who had not participated in any extracurricular activities. Mr. Bidden made a mental note to speak with Ollie about joining a club. Ollie received a message from Mr. Bidden inviting him to join the stamp collecting club. However, he had other interests and decided to join the sports club instead. As he made his way to the club meeting, Ollie unexpectedly ran into Alicia. The two of them had not seen each other in a while and decided to catch up. As it turned out, the stamp collecting club was just a cover for something much bigger. Mr. Bidden, or rather Agent Caria as he was secretly known, had recruited Ollie and Alicia to join the Mata Academy. As a special agent, Agent Caria was responsible for recruiting the best and brightest for the Academy, and making sure that their missions were kept secret from the rest of the school. Despite his role as a teacher, Agent Caria was always ready and willing to go above and beyond to ensure the success of his recruits. The journey to Mata Academy was always a thrilling one, with the only way to reach the island being a special sea route that had been created just for the Academy. But upon arrival, Ollie and Alicia were met with an unexpected attack. A masked man armed with cards ambushed Agent Bikar, one of the Academy's agents, and separated him from Ollie and Alicia. In the chaos that ensued, Ollie used his iris device to defeat the assailant, only to be hypnotized and turned against Alicia. As the two friends fought each other, Chamat, another agent, pursued the masked man and managed to trap him. But in the midst of the chaos, Chamat found herself in trouble and Ollie and Alicia were forced to come to help her. It was only then that they realized that the entire incident had been a training simulation, designed to test their abilities on the first day of their time at the academy. To their surprise, they had not only passed the test, but also set a new record for the mission. The other trainees watched in amazement as Ollie and Alicia emerged victorious from their first challenge at Mata Academy. Ollie and Alicia were excited to begin their training at Mata Academy, and they were lucky to have four experienced agents as their mentors. Agent Caria, Agent Bakar, Agent Leon, and Agent Jitha. Along with these mentors, they would also be training with a diverse group of students, each with their own unique abilities. These included Jet, Rosa, Mika, Chris, Iman, Bulat, Kai, Zas, Moon, and Rudy. The next day, Ollie could hardly concentrate in school, his mind fixated on returning to Mata Academy. His impatience caught the attention of Victor, who became curious about Ollie's behavior. Ollie managed to keep the true nature of his activities a secret, but not without a warning from Alicia to keep their identities and the existence of Mata Academy hidden from others. Ollie was curious about why Alicia, who was already a skilled agent, had chosen to become a new student at the Academy. She explained that her father had entrusted her with the care of Iris and the responsibility of raising and training Ollie. Upon their arrival at the Academy, Ollie was greeted by several of his friends who were eager to see the advanced capabilities of Iris for themselves. Rudy was still sensitive to Iris and Ollie's success in defeating Jim, but Ollie was called away before class to meet with Agent Bikar and the leaders of the academy. They warned him to keep Iris safe from those who might seek to use it as a weapon. Ollie also met with Agent Rizwan and the chairman of the Mata Academy, who informed him that the academy student's new mission was to form teams with their unique abilities and retrieve chips that had been hidden on the island. The first team to get all the chips would win, and Zass's team was the first to find a chip, but the place was guarded by robots. While Agent Kai's robot trying to take the chip, Ollie managed to grab it first. But before he could leave the place, Alicia shot Ollie's hand and made him drop the chip. There was a fierce battle between Ollie's team and Alicia's team for the chip. When Ollie managed to take the chip back, he decided to return alone. However, since the test was a cooperative exercise, Ollie couldn't return alone and had to return with his team. On the way returning for his team, he meets a man there, but it turns out to be Rudy that disguises himself as a man and he restrains Ollie, taking the chip from him. At a subway station, a mini-robot sneaks into the security room and sabotages the systems, disconnecting one of the freight train cars. Ollie, feeling regret after his team's failure at Mata Academy, where he abandoned his teammates. Victor tries to cheer Ollie up by inviting him to play a game, where he explains that losing is an opportunity to learn from weaknesses and strive for victory. 
As they are speaking, Alicia calls and informs him that they have been given a mission by General Rama at the Mata Academy. Ali is then tasked with leading a group of troops and mentors on the mission. Bulat enlists Chris and Agent Leon to handle the beta reactor leak, while Kai, Iman, Jet, and Agent Karia form the line of defense. Meanwhile, Ali, Zass, and Alicia join Agent Bakar to deal with a virus attack at a subway station. They find that the residents have been successfully evacuated, but are confronted by Neonimus, who has spread the virtual virus. The group works to hack and remove the viruses, and Chamat locates the control robot used by Neonimus. As they work to control the situation, Ollie becomes trapped on a train that is about to crash into another train, controlled by Neonimus. He also has to deal with a psychic robot that had previously been controlled by Neonimus. Alicia tries to locate Neonimus using a mini-robot, and she and Zass chase him to a nearby cafe. Zass's speed allows him to catch up to Ollie and together, they defeat the psychic robot with their combined attacks. It turns out that Neonimus's threat to crash the train was just a bluff, and the train was on a separate track. Ollie successfully completes the mission and celebrates his victory with Victor by playing games together. The next day, Agent Bakar, Ollie, Alicia, and Moon are given a mission to prevent a theft by the infamous criminal Analogman at the city's largest technology building. However, Agent Bakar, fear of cockroaches and Agent Bakar's negligence leads to their failure, and they are scolded by General Rama. Analogman has also stolen and destroyed several other tech buildings in the city and his identity is unknown, making it urgent to catch him. After graduation, Mrs. Pew and Muna invites her students on a study tour to cyber science, where they coincidentally attend the Robopol exhibition featuring Captain Mala's crew robot, which was previously used by the Mata Academy. Analogman is also present at the exhibition, and upon destroying all the robots on display, he plans to destroy the venue and takes Captain Mala hostage. His goal is to remind people that they didn't have as advanced technology in the past as they do today. Ollie and Alicia fight against an Analogman, and with the help of Iris, Ollie is able to exploit his weak point and defeat him. However, an Analogman has a backup plan to blow up the Azurum, make the electricity down and their gadgets malfunction. Ollie and Alicia tried to fight an Analogman without their gadget, but they ended up losing, and Alicia was hit by an Analogman, causing her to lose consciousness. At the same time, Agent Bikar arrived, but was unable to do much against the formidable Analogman. Despite the chaos, Agent Bakar used a stun device to subdue an Alogman, while Ollie searched for the key to deactivate the bomb and detonate the bomb at the last second. The incident left Ollie reflecting on the dangers of technology and its potential to cause harm. Agent Bakar reminded him that technology is meant to make life easier for humanity, and it is up to each individual to decide whether to use it for good or for evil. As Rudy performed his solo training in front of the entire Mata Academy student, he broke a new record. It was now Ollie's turn, but despite his best efforts, he exceeded the allotted time and failed the training, earning him the bottom rank. Just as Ollie was feeling down about his performance, Mata Academy was suddenly under attack. While agents tried to track down the source of the attack, Jenny managed to block their efforts. She and her boss planned to launch a direct attack. Ollie brought his frustration with him to school, where the students were receiving their exam scores. Victor ended up in third place, behind Alicia and Sarsi. Despite the unsatisfactory results, Victor remained philosophical and saw it as an opportunity to learn and do better in the future. His words of wisdom helped Ollie come to terms with his own struggles and motivated him to work harder. Ollie was an outcast at the academy. Despite having the advanced iris technology, he was unable to accomplish anything significant. As agents Bikar, Ali, Alicia, and Rudy arrived at the Psytic factory, Chama, Alicia, and Rudy quickly set about examining the situation. Meanwhile, Ali chatted with Agent Bikar and exposed them to an attack by a swarm of microchips. With his iris, Ali was able to locate the controller of the microchips and saw that Agent Jenny was also present. Ali, Alicia, and Rudy were powerless against their attackers, but luckily, Agents Leon, Karia, and Jitha arrived to lend their assistance. Despite their efforts, Jenny managed to escape and used her final attack to return to base. The agents realized that their attackers were not attempting to kill them but rather to analyze and gain control of Ollie's iris technology. As usual, after school, Ollie and Alicia went to the Mata Academy. However, this time, Ollie was not allowed to participate in any training or missions at the Academy. Agent Karia, along with all the other agents and the Academy's chairman, suspended Ollie for an indefinite period, stating that he needed to learn to take care of himself and his iris technology. One of the reasons for this suspension may have been Ollie's lack of responsibility. For instance, he had left his house key at school, forcing his father to ask their neighbor, Grandma Faye, for permission for Ollie to stay at her house until he returned from work. 
Grandma Fay, not wanting any damage or mess in her house, placed Ollie with her grandson, Danish. In addition to taking care of Danish, Grandma Fay will attend a social gathering with other mothers from the complex. When Ollie struggled to make milk for Danish, he tried calling Alicia and Agent Bikar for help, but they were too busy on a mission to care about Ollie's predicament. Frustrated, Ollie used his iris technology to make the milk, but this caused the iris system to crash. Ollie's carelessness continued when he accidentally dropped the iris device and left Danish's bedroom door open. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Danish ran out of the room, taking the iris device with him and causing chaos by destroying some of Grandma Fay's things and making a mess. Shamut's presence only added to the confusion as Danish chased her around. Fortunately, Iris was able to predict Danish's fall from the top of the cupboard and prevent any injury. However, when Ollie removed the Iris device, all of the display items fell out. Ollie immediately contacted Agent Bikar after completing his mission, and he arrived to help him put Danish to sleep. Agent Bikar also brought some modern robots to assist in repairing the damage caused by Danish. Taking care of children like Danish was easy for Agent Bikar, as he had always been good at looking after Ollie when he was a mischievous child. Additionally, today happened to be the anniversary of Ollie's parents' wedding, so Ollie with Agent Bikar tidy up the house and prepare a little surprise for Ollie's father. Das, who was still in prison, managed to escape with the help of a robot. While sneaking around, she encountered Agent Rizwan. Unfortunately, due to lax security, Das was able to escape easily. Meanwhile, Ollie was still practicing with his iris device, which was experiencing system issues, he went to school as usual that morning. However, when he arrived at school, he noticed that Agents Bikar, Karia, and Alicia were acting strangely and hiding something from him. Out of curiosity, he followed Alicia and Agent Karia to the meeting room, where he overheard their conversation warning Alicia to keep an eye on Ollie to prevent him from acting carelessly. Despite being denied access to the Mata Academy due to his suspension, Ollie was determined to find out what was going on. He attempted to enter the academy by assuming Alicia's identity, and with Chamat's help, he was successful. While sneaking around, Ollie encountered Kai, Moon, and Iman. He told them that he had intruded into the academy because of an emergency matter. Ollie came up with the idea of sending Kai's robot to the meeting room, where they discovered that Doss had escaped from her cell and was now in a building in the northern area of Cyberia. Agent Rizwan, who had failed to capture Doss earlier, volunteered to arrest her and make amends. With this information, Ollie and Chamat planned to take down Doss before she joined forces with Uno. They were not alone in this mission, as the four mentors were already in the same building and Kai, Moon, and Iman offered to help. The mentors wanted Ollie to return to the Mata Academy, so they began exploring every floor of the building, avoiding direct contact with the mentors. Eventually, they arrived at the top floor. Agent Rizwan arrived soon after, causing a commotion as Chamat tried to get Ollie to reveal himself so that their friends would not be discovered. Ollie wanted to help Agent Rizwan catch Doss, but he kicked Ollie out, not wanting him to get involved. The reason for this was because Agent Rizwan and Doss had tricked the mentors into falling for their plan. Seeing this, Ollie became angry, feeling that Agent Rizwan had betrayed him. Without realizing it, Ollie's iris device activated its override mode and took control of his body, causing him to attack blindly, including his friends who were blocking Doss' escape route. Fortunately, the mentors were able to stop Ollie before any serious harm was done. Doss fled with Agent Rizwan to the outskirts of Cyberia, where it was revealed that Agent Rizwan had actually helped Doss escape and had a deal in place to meet with Uno. However, instead of making a deal with the criminals, Agent Rizwan betrayed them and attacked. In addition to Rizwan, there were also two students under Jenny's orders, Saez and Syat, who assisted in the attack. This shocking incident prompted the heads of the Mata Academy to hold a special meeting. They suspected that Agent Rizwan had betrayed them. But Agent Zane had a different theory, believing that Agent Rizwan had his own motivations. Meanwhile, Ollie was facing backlash from other Academy students for attacking his friends the previous night. Feeling sad and unsure of what to say, he threw his iris device away. He then encountered Agent Zane, who asked Ollie if he truly wanted to protect people using iris. The advanced technology was specifically designed for agents willing to protect the innocent citizens of Cyberia, but maintaining it was not easy. Agent Zane and others fought hard against the criminals who sought to master the iris technology. Agent Zane even discovered the evil intentions of Jin, or Uno, and his agents who were attempting to access the iris system to obtain information for their benefit. As a result, Agent Zane stopped all iris production. He recognized that Ollie was the right person to use iris and began monitoring him. Therefore, Ollie was trusted to use Iris to protect Cyberia. Meanwhile, Agent Rizwan, who had managed to meet with Uno, joined forces with him and planned to destroy everything. 
After the incident with Agent Rizwan, Ollie was allowed to return to the Mata Academy by Agent Zane. However, his apology did not change the other students' negative feelings towards him. Alicia was also unhappy with Ollie for stealing her identity. All of the Academy students participated in rehearsals, learning about their roles. The yellow-shirted neuro agents were the most knowledgeable and their job was to gather information, analyze the situation, and devise a threat strategy to ensure smooth missions. The gray-shirted Inviso agents were sneaky and used tricks and camouflage to distract and infiltrate the enemy's defenses. The blue-shirted combat agents were strong and reliable in close combat, and proficient in martial arts, while the red-shirted techno agents were technology experts, helping facilitate missions for other agents. Again, Ollie messed up the mission plan, leading the mentors to conclude that he still did not understand the concept of teamwork. The lack of understanding extended to his schoolwork as well, as he struggled to work effectively with Alicia and Victor in sports. Upon returning to the Iris Academy, Ollie met with Agent Zane, who was aware of the difficulties Ollie had faced during his training. Agent Zane advised Ollie to stay positive and follow Alicia's directions. Despite this, the other students at the academy remained hostile towards Ollie. Seeing this, Alicia proposed a deal, if she and Ollie won a chip-grabbing practice match against the other students, they would leave him alone. However, if the other students won, Ollie and Alicia would have to leave the academy. They recruited Chris and Zass to join their team. In the match Alicia managed to turn the situation around and Ollie was just about to get his chips when the mentors stopped them. Meanwhile, Jenny, who had joined Rizwan under Uno's leadership, was searching for a former agent named Professor Cuatro. When she encountered security robots that recognized her, Cuatro invited her into the research room. However, Agent Rizwan's arrival was not on Mata's orders but rather he was sent by Uno. Despite this, Agent Rizwan, aware of his position, chose not to trust Uno and decided to injure Cuatro in order to protect themselves. After being captured, a Nalogman was being transported to prison. However, they encountered obstacles from people who supported Analogman's actions at the science building and believed that as technology becomes more advanced, human power will no longer be necessary. Meanwhile, at the academy, Ali, Kai, and Bullet were receiving lessons from Agent Jitha. Despite this, Kai remained angry with Ali, as did Moon, Faith, and Chamat. As a techno unit, the three of them were given an assignment by Agent Jitha to create a sophisticated tool for their friends. In order to better understand his friend's needs and wants, Alicia and Agent Zane suggest that Ollie get to know his friends better. Ollie learned that Kai was very fond of the robot his father gave him, so he took the initiative to repair it. As a result, Kai was willing to help Ollie complete their task from Agent Jitha by showcasing their friend's abilities. However, this did not improve their relationships with Alicia, Moon, and Iman. As they were about to test the tools created by Ollie and Kai, they received news that a Nalogman had escaped with new subordinates and was blocking the road, planning to blow up the bridge. This was Ollie's chance to demonstrate his creations and, although they were successful in aborting the plan, they discovered that other bombs had been placed on either side of the bridge. Ollie's success made the other students and mentors at the academy proud of him, including Agent Jitha, who offered to help Ollie perfect his tool. Meanwhile, Jenny, having successfully captured Cuatro, began creating Iris for Uno. Her intelligence allowed her to develop a program that created a new, more advanced system every time Iris was used, including an override mode. Uno threatened to leave Cuatro behind unless he followed his orders, including creating Iris and attacking the Mata Academy. He used Agent Rizwan to infiltrate the Academy and disable the security system. Cuatro began the process of integrating the Iris system with Azurium, and with Agent Rizwan's help, he convinced Uno that he was truly on his side. He even asked Jenny to insert a microbot into his body to quickly heal the wounds he had sustained. Agent Rizwan's abilities had greatly increased, even allowing him to fight with the speed and power of Uno. He tried to persuade Uno to negotiate with the heads of the Mata Academy, but he refused. Agent Rizwan saw no other option but to hand over the completed Iris to him. At school, Ollie and the other students received assignment from Mrs. Pugh and Muna to create a science project on the theme of aero and hydrodynamics within a week. Before starting the project with Victor, Ollie returned to the academy where he and the other students received news from Moon that Agent Rizwan had succeeded in capturing Cuatro. However, Rudy denied the crimes committed by Jin or Uno, explaining that he had lived in a remote village as a child he had done whatever it took to survive. One day, Rudy was beaten up by bandits and the Agent Jin came to help him. From that story, Ollie wondered why Jin was against Mata and asked Rudy to go with him instead, if he think what Jin is doing is for the good. Alicia tried to calm Ollie down in a different room, where he met Agent Zane again. According to Agent Zane, Rudy had the same feelings as Ollie and idolized Agent Rizwan. 
Rudy didn't know what to do when he saw that the person he admired had become an enemy. Just like Ollie, Rudy needed a direct reason from Agent Rizwan for his actions. Even though Agent Rizwan and Cuatro were currently attempting to erase all Iris programs created for Uno, they also prepared active bombs to blow up their base. Uno, who found out about their plan, immediately sent DOS to save them both. Jenny also managed to deactivate Cuatro once again. But Agent Rizwan prepared another bomb in an attempt to help Cuatro escape. However, it was unsuccessful and Cuatro was caught by Trez. Luckily, Agent Rizwan, by disguising himself as Uno, was able to bring Cuatro out of their base, which was already filled with hundreds of explosives. After completing his mission, Agent Rizwan returned to the Mata Academy and turned himself into the leaders. When Ali, who was working with Victor, heard the news, he rushed to the Academy with a high-level security detail. The base was heavily guarded by various robots and technological weapons. Agent Rizwan was not allowed to see anyone, and the Academy heads were questioning him. During this time, Agent Rizwan admitted that he had been wrong to act alone from the start. He tried to persuade Uno to return to Mata, but he had turned evil and refused. Agent Rizwan was forced to blow up their base. Suddenly, the microchip in Agent Rizwan's body activated and he began to attack under the control of a foreign signal leading to the academy. All the students prepared to create plasma defenses from inside the base to protect against the incoming attacks. As Agent Rizwan deactivated the base and attacked the other agents, it became clear that this was all part of Uno's master plan. He had been controlling Agent Rizwan's body through the microchip inside him to turn off the security system from the inside. Acho's microbot had protected them all from the explosion, allowing them to survive. Now, Uno and his group were trying to destroy the Mata Academy and get their hands on Iris. Agent Jitha managed to bring in robots and weapons to counterattack, and Ali and his friends were able to learn about the situation through Kai's robot. Uno demonstrated his skills by defeating the robots and controlling the rest using override mode, just as Ali had done before. Seeing the chaos, the students began to riot. With Alicia's help, Ollie tried to unite them and work together to fight Uno, who was already at the entrance to the base. All the students worked together, each taking on specific roles in the fight against Uno and his group. Kai's robot managed to disable one of their strongest weapons and save Zass. Rudy tried to talk to Uno to find out his true motive for attacking the Mata Academy, but was almost killed instead. Luckily, Ollie managed to save Rudy just in time. Even Ollie's iris couldn't be used because the virus from Uno's microbot was still attacking it from within. Agent Zane arrived to help his students a little too late, but his ability to predict the enemy's every move proved to be a valuable asset. Meanwhile, the students fought against the rest of the criminals at the entrance. Jenny's shot disrupted their plans, and several students were attacked and lost consciousness. Only four of them, using Ollie's device, managed to defeat Trez and Doss. Ollie and Alicia, followed by Rudy, then entered the academy to help Agent Zane fight against Uno. Agent Zane's predictions and shots couldn't match Uno's attack speed, but he was actually using this opportunity to study Uno's moves. Their fight had just begun. Despite not wanting to repeat his past mistakes, Agent Zane was still kind enough not to hurt Uno. However, Uno took advantage of this and attacked Agent Zane. Ollie's anger returned as he activated Iris override mode. Both Uno and Ollie had used Iris, allowing them to predict each other's moves. Remembering the previous incident, only Alicia dared to approach Ollie while he was in override mode. However, thanks to the artificial tools attached to them, Ollie's override mode didn't affect Alicia at all. Instead, it multiplied her abilities. She also taught Rudy and Iman to clear their minds and make movements using the tools in their eyes. Together, they mobilized all their abilities, but Ollie fainted after using the Iris override mode and Rudy was unable to do anything. Uno's ultimate goal was to take over the system and control the satellites from the Mata base, planning to blow it up. Luckily, Kai managed to bring Agent Zane, who was assisted by Agent Jitha. He asked the students to leave him to fight Uno, and the emergency plane was able to fly all the remaining students and agents to safety. Agent Zane's death was sad for everyone, especially for Ollie, Alicia, and even Jim, who had earned their respect despite his status as a criminal. One week had passed since the science project began, Victor and Ollie had built a rocket together, even though their teacher only gave them a C grade. Alicia returned to cheer up Ollie, who was feeling sad after Agent Zane's death. She reminded him that Agent Zane had entrusted him and the other academy students, especially Ollie, to be great agents someday. She encouraged him not to dwell on his grief and to remember that the chairman of Mata Academy believed he had the potential to be the best agent among all the others. Ollie had even managed to create a similar technology system and connect it to his iris using his own hands. At the end of the scene, the chairman of Mata Academy said that Ollie would certainly be a great agent, as he had the blood of the best agent flowing in his veins. 
The moral lesson learned from this series is the importance of teamwork and, as the students at the Mata Academy work together to protect the Academy and defeat their enemies. The story also highlights the importance of not giving up, forgiveness, and understanding, as the characters persevered through challenges and were able to make amends for their mistakes.